I am Marian Gashohe and this is Real Realty. This week it's all about interior design as we visit Varsity Estate in Riru along Eastern Bypass right here in Kenya. Roston Maliazo, who is an interior designer with Prime House Interiors, will be walking us through. Let's take a look. Hello, Roston. Hi, Marion. Um, what do we have here? This space here, it's a kind of like a, a space to welcome visitors ah, like you. Like the lobby. Yes. Yeah. So and I like what you've done with the, the gypsum. Uh -huh. Plenty of lights and you see the lights. Yeah, then here we went for a different kind of a ceiling mm -hmm. where we mix gypsum and the wood planks. Wood planks. Yeah, so that to create a, I would say, uh, a nice ambience. Yeah, maybe this on the ceiling, they resonate well with the mahogany door there. Very strong. Yes, and again, we wanted to make it uh, more like uh, an outdoor space. Ah, yes, yes. I, I get it. Yeah. The, the outdoor space that usually has like this wood yes. planks and, uh, then and then everything else is open. Yes. And what color is this? Mm, I would say this is a shade of uh, a kind of a pink color. Pink. Yes, but very light. Very light. Yeah. This is also the living room. This is the living room. Now very this is the main beautiful. area. So when you come here, you will see there is uh, quite a lot down there. When you see here, I would say we have uh, a bigger space. Mm. And this bigger space now, it is where uh, visitors can come and sit. And sit down. Yes, and sit down. And I like the chandelier, very mm. conspicuous mm. Uh, and very beautiful. Looks yeah. like a, a ball, like welcome everyone. Uh, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the client uh, actually liked it. And you can see even the seats and some of the colors, they resemble, this is gold, more of gold into this space. I, yeah, they also match the curtains, which the are curtains, yeah. almost gold, and yeah. also the door, it's more yeah. of a hue of gold and brown. Yes, yes. Earth, earthy colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is so very beautiful. That is what my client likes. And I can see also you have uh, the gypsum. The gypsum. That is, uh, what kind of there design is, the, is this? This is uh, an effect on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. We call it a flat medium effect. Mm -hmm. Rather than having your ceilings to be plain, mm -hmm. you can do an effect on it mm -hmm. so that it adds more, um, I could say, beauty mm -hmm. into the space. Mm -hmm. Or it makes it like uh, something as in, uh, somehow classy, you can see. You can see, because I see there's, there's the outer part, then mm -hmm. there's the middle part that's then, inside. Yes. Yeah, Just it's like it has layers. Mm -mm. Just to create different um, dimension yeah. on it so and that it doesn't be a flat ceiling. A flat ceiling, mm. yeah, flat, flat is kind of boring. Boring, right? yeah, yeah. You want just to make something that can actually, uh, it can make you feel good in that space. Okay, and mm. I see the focus wall is white. This is white. Uh, the reason being, it's not complete. Mm -hmm. There's something we are going to do on this. Mm -hmm. Maybe I would show you in, in a pictorial form. Yes. So that you will be able to know what is the idea mm -hmm. for this. I like how big this space is and how there's an entrance into the dining area. Mm -hmm. And of course I can see this partition. partition. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful partition that has even very many different segments. You can mm -hmm. place Yeah, you, you have place pictures, you place your... Uh, anything that you maybe you value most, you can place, place it there. Yeah. yeah, I think just to have that uh, uh, beautiful space. So this is made of wood, oh. just mm, okay. yeah, to make it uh, to make a distinction between the sitting room and, and the dining. dining. Area. Yes, and also I can see the earthy colors as well. Yes. This is beautiful. Very beautiful. This yes. is spacious. Mm -hmm. I like this and how the lighting is playing a, a huge role in this dining area. Yeah, lighting plays a very huge role mm -hmm. as in, uh, in interior design. Yes. Because how you put on your light and you will notice that mm -hmm. uh, when we are putting on this light, mm -hmm. they, go, they are not 
uh, done at one button. Mm. There's a different, yeah. I can you see can, like four different. This, yeah, this is four different guns. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Mm. And this is the kitchen area, right? This is the kitchen area. This is now you see you can you can see how the space is actually flowing. Flowing. Yeah, from one section to, to another. another. It's yeah. open. It's open. That yes. is how nowadays as in the modern house it's done. So here we are in the dining. Yes. And the dining is now at with the kitchen together. Mm -hmm. So we have this section here. The counter? This is, yeah, it's called breakfast counter. Oh, this is a granite, right? This is a granite, mm -hmm. yes. So the granite is now what makes it uh, perfect for you to have yeah? uh, you your can, meals. Yeah, your meals here because it is, uh, I would say we use it because you can, you can wash it actually. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't hold any stain. Yeah. And I also like how the lights drop down and focus on your meal yes, you're having that your is, breakfast. Yeah, we call them pendant lights. Pendant lighting, yeah. I yes. like that. Yeah. Pendants. So they just they uh, yeah on your meal. So when you are there, mm -hmm. seated there, and you served your breakfast here, okay. actually you feel good. I would, uh, I would say maybe the husband is seated there and the wife <laughs> is cooking. They're having their <laughs> talk, uh, and uh, yeah, she serves the husband a cup of tea. Yeah, oh, the other way around. Yeah, Either the way around. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling you, the conversation will be very more lovely. Yeah. Uh, this is a beautiful space. Mm -hmm. And um, you can see you have a refrigerator at the yes. far end. That space was created specifically for the refrigerator. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we created it so that it can have the flow of us. And you know, what you need in the kitchen, mm -hmm. you don't lack the space. Mm -hmm. And the way you now maybe, you know, you want to have an easy way of using uh, different things, uh, operating in the kitchen yes so that is why now we it has to be here. on that other mm -hmm. side mm -hmm. i realize we only have one cabinet here mm -hmm. oh there's another one on the other yeah. end <laughs> i did not see that when we walked in i was like why do you have one <laughs> one single cabinet in the wall okay this <laughs> is a replica of that exactly yeah because of now you see the big window mm. where the sink is mm. Yeah, so I think that now complements everything. What's uh, the other side? So now we're from the kitchen. Yes. That's connected to the living room mm -hmm. through this area. Yes. I can see you have a very beautiful staircase over there. Mm -hmm. But there's also other two rooms on this side. What do we have here? Okay, here is a common toilet. A common toilet. And that is a guest bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we may not open it now. Okay. Yeah. But okay, that's beautiful. So mm -hmm. what do we have up there here? There is more rooms upstairs. Now mm -hmm. that is bedrooms. We have three bedrooms, yes. a family room mm -hmm. and also the master bedroom mm -hmm. at the topmost uh, floor. Okay. Yes. Lynn, you can show me. Okay. <laughs> Come. <laughs> Oh, this is a bit. It's it's uh, it has so hey. much big space here. Yes, and I think. is this also the dropping light? This is the uh, we we will say pendant light. Oh, pendant light. Yes. So what is this space? So here it is actually space we are now the other rooms that I told you. The bedroom. Yes, they connect from here. But this is not a bedroom. What this is, is not a bedroom. This is a family room. Oh. So you can have a look. Uh -huh. um, so this is another mm -hmm. uh, a family room where now they come together. And, and sit and have a good time. A good time here. And uh, we are going to put a TV here. They mm -hmm. can have a TV on the watch TV on the on this in this room. On this room, mm -hmm. right? And also the uh, I can see also the gypsum is playing a very key role here. Yes. And also orange, orange oh, yes. looks yummy and <laughs> a good mood. <laughs> yeah, it creates a good mood mm. for this room here. Yes. And it makes now everything look beautiful. Look beautiful. Yes. What do we have in this? Uh, this is now another room. Mm -hmm. This is called study room. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. we need to study. Yeah. <laughs> and you mentioned yeah, that we, we have 
Okay. Yeah, so yes, they, they, so they, they, they study <laughs> room. Yes, yeah, sorry. So you can come. So you will see. We're going to put uh, study tables in this yeah. room, yeah. And then also it can serve as a, an office, mm. a home office. Yeah. Actually, it's a very big space. Yes. You can do so much in this area. Exactly. I yeah. like and this. We, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. Yes. That's so a balcony? This is a balcony. You're having a balcony. Wow, massive. <laughs> yeah. This is From here big. you can have. Mm. This is like everything. Everything. This is like everything, everything that yeah. we here. Mm -hmm. And the washroom is on the other side. Yes. This is an entire someone's house. Mm -hmm. It's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. It's big space. So this is the first bedroom. Yeah, this is boys' bedroom. The boys' bedroom. Yes. Can I? Yes, show you me? can come. Have I a can look see at blue it. already. Hey, this blue <laughs> is for boys. Th this is blue, blue green sort of. This is blue. Blue. Yeah, it's not pure blue. blue. This is blue, yeah. Am I, I may be coming kind of blind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, there are shades of blue. Oh, yeah. yeah. There are shades of blue. It's not just, you know, when you mention blue, mm. someone will just have like that. The stuff. sky. The, yeah, the blue, the sky. But each and every color has shades. Shades. Yeah, so you choose a shade of that yeah, you like. That and you the, like. And the focus is, wall as well. This focus wall, I will want you to come and have a feel. A feel? This is a new technology paint mm -hmm. it's called belka belka yes it's a cotton paint and you can feel it so this is the focal wall how did you how did you make this okay this one i'll say it's made as it comes from italy no like how did you uh apply oh, as it in to apply yes there is a special tool of uh, application mm. Yeah, so you mix with water, mm -hmm. it is like now it becomes like a paste. Mm -hmm. Then now you start now applying Apply. with that uh, trowel. Mm -hmm. um, I can see the closet is yes. roof or uh, ceiling. ceiling yes, to it, uh, it, we call it full length. Full <coughs> length, mm -hmm. full length closet. Mm -hmm. Very important. Yeah. This is the big girl room. Oh, I mm. love that focus <laughs> wall. Yeah, it brings me in this uh, room. Uh -huh. Very conspicuous and very beautiful. I'm telling you, this is the same the kind same, of paint but with the glitters. I love this. Uh -huh. But I like it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so this what did is, you do with this space as well? You just look at the space. Mm -hmm. This is the. Um, how the ceiling, you will realize that the design. It's the all, same. Yeah, in the bedrooms, it's all the same yeah. because of the mosquito net mm. that is going to be installed yeah. in these rooms. Yeah. That is mm. amazing. And also the curtains. The curtains, they go well. Very well with the. And you know, yeah, this is a big girl. She seems to understand what she wants. Yeah. Yeah, and even to do some, what we call the color match. And so this is a small oh, girl, small girl room. Pink. Mm -hmm. You can see the pink, pinkish and purple. -ish. Baby pink. Yes, baby it's colors. It's popping. <laughs> yeah, it has to be popping. Mm. It has to come out as in like, it has to be visible. And also the full length closet this as well. full length closet. And a half bath. Yes. Did you make this? It, it's like a staircase that it's also has it does also, it's a storage. storage. Yes, so you go up to the, the, the upper bed, mm. and then again, they keep their things into. Mm, yeah, so. Very nice. And on this other side, this mm -hmm. is a prayer room. Prayer room? Yes. We do it? have a prayer room in mm. this house. Yes. This is very important, and this is very good. Very mm. spacious as well. Mm. You have a place where you just come and pray. Yeah. yeah. Something that people can mm -hmm. take notes on. Yes. So on this other side, this is now the master bedroom. Master bedroom. Yes. Master bedroom. Master bedroom. It's very spacious. Oh my It is goodness. high. You can see it. Yeah. <laughs> I can have a dance class here. <laughs> it's so big. It's very big. It's very so big. big. Mm -hmm. 
and it's self-contained. Self-contained, you can see a kitchenette there. And this is now another, this is a closet. A closet. Mm -hmm. and With it's big so mirrors for, yeah, this you know. This light. Yeah, this, this light, yeah, yeah I can see they mm, have like a This light, yes. That is yeah. very... And this, uh, you know, ladies, they love mirrors, so <laughs> this big, yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. very big and beautiful mirrors. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm loving this. Mm -hmm. And I can see that you want to create something here? Yeah, this is now another focal wall where now the TV is going to be. Mm -hmm. You're going to put a TV here. Mm -hmm. And this is... Uh, uh, an idea of what I was talking about, the sitting room. The living room. Yeah, in the living room where we will have mm -hmm. this kind of uh, uh, a wall unit. In just a few, we are flipping the pages of color psychology in interior design. Welcome back to Real Realty and our joining forces. I am with Boston Maliazu, of course, from Prime House Interiors. And right now, he's going to highlight the significance and art of selecting the right colors for your room space. Why? Because of color psychology. Welcome back again, Roston. Welcome, Maria. Mm. So if a client comes in and says, I want this color, mm. but you do understand this color has different hues, mm -hmm. how do you settle on this hue mm -hmm. that goes with this work. For instance, you can see this, uh, this is not the same as what we have seen in the other mm -hmm. rooms. So they might have said we want this color, mm -hmm. but you decided on this hue mm -hmm. to go with, for instance, the flooring mm -hmm. and the gypsum. Mm -hmm. How do you design mm -hmm. a space using color? You will look at various, um, maybe various issues. Mm -hmm. Maybe may call them the factors that they helps in determining mm -hmm. the colors. That will be the things surrounding the, the, the space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like here you will find that, you know, you look at the seats, mm -hmm. you look at the, 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 the things like now the chandelier there, mm -hmm. you look at the curtains. Mm -hmm. So those are things that helps one now to narrow down mm -hmm. into that kind of a shade of color that they will want to use for that particular space. The color that you put on the walls, mm -hmm. you have first asked the client what color of curtains are you having? Yes, you yes. You have to have a, an idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the client you are dealing with, what are the, their, 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 their preferences in terms of colors? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, if you don't do that, then you will be creating maybe your own space. Your own space, yes, and not, they may not be very yeah, happy with, with it. The, with that space. Yeah. So you need to understand them and to find out what are the colors you see where you will if they tell you blue you need now to go deep and find Which what is the shade of that blue yeah. that they want mm -hmm. exactly and as we went across the rooms we found out that the uh, the boys bedroom had a different color with the girls bedroom mm -hmm. had a different color with the older girls bedroom mm -hmm. so what is it that uh, color has to do with age it makes them feel lively, it yes. makes them as in look, as in feel like, as in, you know, they are growing up. Mm -hmm. So those brighter colors, mm -hmm. they help them so much. But now, 
you look at uh, someone who is growing, as in who has grown, they tend to like this shouting colors. They are too much. You don't anymore. want them to be yeah. what. So they look at uh, something that is subtle, as in as, as uh, Dima. cool colors. Uh, cool colors, as yeah. well as in the bedroom, you in can't have bed yeah, very, very bright shouting colors, colors or very dark. Mm -hmm. You don't want to come in the bedroom and feel depressed mm -hmm. as you well. You want something that is uh, uh, an atmosphere that you feel like you are relaxed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've been thinking about color psychology, mm -hmm. but apart from color, mm -hmm. interior design tends to weigh a lot in psychology. Mm -hmm. It's like a mind game in yes. interior design. Mm -hmm. uh, would you factor in how this plays around? I would say, yeah, that um, affects so much uh, this uh, interior design thing. Because you see, you, we are about creating atmospheres. So with that in mind, you need to find out what are the the, 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 the good colors mm. or the, th those shades of colors that you will want to create at, uh, the atmosphere you want to create. Yes. This is also pegged on the taste and preference of the client or the person you are dealing with yes. because people are different yeah. and someone atmosphere yes. it's an yes. And, yeah, and also, also mm. the lighting as well plays a key role in that. Yes. And also the tiling or the, the flooring. Tile. Yeah, everything. Every single thing is yes, just playing. Yes, just to psychology. come in, as in just to make the space look complete. lively, aesthetic. Mm. Mm. That's the word. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rusted. That was you. a very uh, informative segment that you've had here about color psychology and also the role that interior design plays in psychology as well. Coming up right after the break, we're going to see the benefits of having your home's exterior painted and the reward it comes with it. You're not going to want to miss this. We'll be right back. we hear about paints, we think of interior walls, of the hues, tints, tones and shades we may have inside our spaces. But what is the significance of painting our exterior walls as well? Exterior paints are the doors to our spaces and painting them boosts a property's curb appeal. This is the general attractiveness of a property from a sidewalk to a prospective buyer. Since exterior painting increases your property's curb appeal, it consequently increases the property's value. Exterior paints are different from interior paints since they can withstand harsh climatic conditions, therefore protecting the exterior walls. Exterior walls experience tons of wear and tear as well as from dust, hanging things, and crime. Also, if the walls are made of wood, the paint keeps the termites and all the bags away. Since exterior paints can last for years, it is cost-effective, saving thousands or even millions of shillings, depending on the size and purpose of the property. Painting is, yes, for aesthetics, but most importantly, it is for functionality. Therefore, when painting your exterior, ensure to hire a professional because painting is more than just slapping your favorite color on your walls. Well, thanks very much for watching today's scene on Real Realty. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have many, many, many more aesthetic spaces and grandiose scenes to share with you in our upcoming episodes. Today, it was all about love and a happy, beautiful home. Of course, with me, Marian Gashahe. <laughs>